In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add photos to KW Design. So the question uh, came to me through my chat today on my uh, website, and they said, how do I add images to designs? So there's a few ways, and I'm going to show those to you now. My name is Lori Ballin, and I have a real estate team here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We serve Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, and I live right up here in Summerlin, which is the area I specialize in. So I would love your referrals. I don't work uh, for, I am an agent with Keller Williams, but I do not work for Keller Williams running KW Command. This is all done as a courtesy and to help grow my brand as well, of course. And this video is part of the 365 days of KW Command series where I make a video every day about KW Command for one year. We're a couple months in now. Okay, so um, over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna go down to designs. For those of you that have OCD that are worried about my task list here, in other videos I explain where these are coming from. They have to do with the fact that text messages are being uh, scheduled, yet either the phone number is invalid or um, there was no phone number on the contact, so they show up as tasks so I can go in and remove those smart plans or add a phone number. So I kind of attack those all in one day, let them pile up a little bit, and then go after them. Okay, on the left-hand side here, you have all of your applets. We're going to go down to this sketch pad here, and it looks like a little tablet with a pencil. That's designs. We're going to click on designs. Now, if this is your first time logging into designs, what you're going to notice is you don't have any of these pictures showing up. My first time I ever logged into designs, I was in panic mode because I was looking for all of these designs that I saw in somebody's um, example and they weren't there. Well, basically you have a blank white slate until you start adding templates in. These little boxes up here are actually filters to sort through designs you've already made. That's not where you go to create a new one. The search box is to search for designs you've already made. To create a new design, we're gonna go use this plus sign here. And I always tell everybody, when you're inside command, you're generally looking for arrows or the three dots to have the system do something. These little arrows uh, create drop-down boxes and the three dots are clickable and add more options. You will also see this plus sign um, in some areas. So if you can't find what you're looking for, always look for an arrow three dots or the plus sign. So we're gonna click on this plus sign and it's then gonna open this box that allows us to create a design. Now you can create emails, although there's a lot of um, things you need to learn about emails that, how, and how they function. You can create social posts and uh, you can create print. These actually can, can be used interchangeably. And then you can create the smart neighborhood videos here, or you can import a PDF. You can also import photos and text from a listing. So if your question is, how do I add listing pics to KW Command? You can do that here by clicking import. And um, otherwise, you'll also be able to upload your photos, okay? So there is a stock art library, which I'm gonna show you as well. So let's just click on print and go to next. All right, it takes a minute, so we're gonna give it a minute to populate, populate, and then it's gonna open the design library that's gonna give us lots of options. There are more than 2,000 designs in the KW Command Designs uh, applet. Unbelievable selection of, of buyer and listing presentations, um, postcards, letters, uh, Instagram stories, Facebook covers, just so much zoom backgrounds so what we're going to do is let's just pick anything and let's just say um we're going to do lead generation and let's say we have um a let me let me open one that's a little more square so let's go to for sale oh these are all door knockers that's okay i'm just going to pick anything let's just go to use because all we're really looking to do today is find out how to add pictures and any design we choose is going to give us that ability. Now, what I want you to keep in mind is that this is a, a still the software is still in beta, KW command, and it's growing. And so 
depending on when you're watching this video, there may be more features available to, to you. In fact, it seems like every time I log in now, there's something new that we can talk about, which is fantastic. So uh, recently they added more stock art, um, copyright free images that we can use. Okay, so if you click on an image in any design, you're going to have the ability to, um, let me let me move that over so I can get to this image here. Okay, you can move and drag and drop an image. You can delete an image. My suggestion is that you first keep all of your images in place because there is a replace option that actually makes the sizing and everything so much easier because it will replace the image rather than you having to drag and drop it in and move it all around. So if we go to the left here, here are some of our options. We have app images. So these are images to help promote our app. That's new. Whoops. Um, careful with your back buttons. All right, we're going to click the three dots. Remember what I said, <laughs> three dots, arrows, and the plus sign. Uh, this arrow takes us out of the design. So lifestyle at home, this is where you're going to get your copyright free images. So as of today, we have the app images, we have lifestyle at home, we have lifestyle activities. So this is people jogging, running, boating, that type of thing. We have neighborhoods. So these are going to look like people walking down the neighborhood, that type of thing. People eating popsicles. All right. Oops. It's actually putting them in there. We don't want that. Okay. And then um, we have, let me go back to the little plus signs. We have house types. Unfortunately for me in Vegas, there are not a lot of houses on here that look like a house in Vegas. Um, so I'm hoping that they build more on as we go. Our houses are kind of like all stucco cookie cutter style houses. And then we have our high rises. So hoping to see more selection to fit Vegas. Um, all right. So what you want to do is a couple of things. So one, if you want to add an image that you have on your computer, simply, simply go to add and look at your options. So if you're going to add from your computer, you're going to simply either drag a, an image from your computer. So for example, let's just say, I've got an image here. It doesn't matter what it is, but let's just say I've got an image here and I want to drag it in. So you can just drag and drop it and it will then show up down here in your library. Or you can click the little up arrow and that will allow you to pull up your uh, computer upload and you can find your image from there. And they will all show up here under your imported images. You can extract an image actually from a PDF, a PSD, or an SVG file. You can import images from Facebook, Facebook pages, Instagram, Google Drive, and Dropbox. Lots of amazing choices. So if you were to click on Facebook, you have to give it uh, the ability to actually use your Facebook and then it's going to pull up these timeline photos and I can say, I want this picture of this uh, Alaska cruise here and you click it and, oh, I opened the album, didn't I? And then it will add to your um, images here. Now here's the trick with this. It, if you wanted to, if you just click the plus sign, watch what happens. It drops in over the image. Then you have to try to delete the other image or cover this one up and you're trying to resize it correctly. That is going to be challenging. Instead, what you want to do is hover over the picture that you want to replace. Then find the little rotator wheel there with the arrows and click that and it will actually replace the image without you having to resize it. Okay. So again, if you want to use the stock library, you go to company, then you choose one of these libraries. So we'll do, let's just say we do house types. You find the house you want, you click the image you want to replace. Make sure you do that. Click the image you want to repla replace or it won't know where to put it. And then click the little wheel, boom. 
dropped it right in there. So again, click the image, click the wheel, drop it in there. That is how easy it is to add images to KW Designs. Up here, you have the ability to add drawings, shapes, frames, and text. So if I want my image to be a circle up here, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to drag that up there. I want a circle image to be here. Pick your image. Click the plus sign. Whoops. Oh, in that case, we may have to do... There we go. Just drag it and drop it into the placeholder. That was the first time I used that one. Just drag it and drop it, and then you'll have your circle. So this would be ideal for like a picture of you. So if you go to my library, and let's just say you've uploaded your headshot, you want that to go in there, just click it, hold it, drag it over, and let go. And then you'll have that circle show up. If you want the background one, you can, you can do that as well. Drag it and drop it in there. And then obviously resizing is a whole nother conversation. But that is how you can add or find and use images on KW Designs. I hope you found that helpful. Make sure you have subscribed to this channel. Join my Facebook group, 365 Days of KW Command.